Welcome to the fairy tale forest, where enchanting stories come to life. Today, we invite you to immerse yourself in the magical world of a timeless tale. Once upon a time, there was a woman and her husband who desperately wished to have children but were unable to. As time passed, the woman discovered that she was expecting a baby. One day, while gazing out of the window at the beautiful flowers and vegetables in the neighbor's garden, she became enchanted by a row of specially planted marula. From that moment on, she couldn't think of anything else but those marula. Eventually, the husband grew very concerned about his wife's obsession. Gathering all his courage, he entered the neighboring garden and collected a handful of marula leaves. However, entering that garden required great bravery because it belonged to a powerful witch. The woman ate the marula leaves brought by her husband with great pleasure, but a handful of leaves was not enough for her. The next evening, in desperation, the husband entered the garden again. However, this time, the witch had set a trap and was waiting for him. The witch was furious upon seeing the man. The woman's husband pleaded for forgiveness, and the witch, in turn, said he could take as much as he wanted. But when his child was born, he would have to give the baby to her. The woman's husband, terrified by the witch, immediately agreed to this condition. A few weeks later, the baby was born, and the witch came to take the newborn. The baby was named Rapunzel. The witch took great care of the little girl. When Rapunzel turned 12, she had become a beauty. The witch placed her in a tower in the middle of a forest, with no stairs, only a small window at the top. When the witch visited, she would call out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Rapunzel would let down her long braided hair, and the witch would climb up using it. This continued for years. One day, a prince from a nearby kingdom entered the forest for hunting. From a distance, he heard a beautiful voice singing. He rode his horse through the forest until he reached the tower. However, he couldn't find any stairs. Captivated by the enchanting voice, the prince started visiting the tower every day. As darkness fell one day, he heard a low voice calling, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. He witnessed how the witch climbed up Rapunzel's hair. The prince fell under the spell of Rapunzel's beauty and started visiting regularly. They fell in love, and the prince proposed marriage, which Rapunzel accepted with a blush. However, escaping from the tall tower seemed impossible. Rapunzel came up with a clever idea. If the prince brought a silk thread each time he visited, Rapunzel could weave them into a ladder. Everything went smoothly, and the witch never noticed. But one day, the witch discovered Rapunzel and the prince together. Enraged, she cut off Rapunzel's braided hair and sent her far away to a desert. That night, when the prince called out, the witch let down the cut hair as if nothing had happened. The prince, unaware of what had occurred, climbed up and was met with the wrath of the witch. He fell, and thorns below pierced his eyes, rendering him blind. He wandered the roads. One day, he reached the desert where Rapunzel was living. From a distance, he heard a sweet voice singing, Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Upon seeing the prince, Rapunzel cried out in joy. Two tears of happiness from Rapunzel's eyes fell into the prince's eyes, and miraculously, his vision was restored. Together, they traveled to the prince's kingdom, where they were welcomed with joy. 
Their happiness remained unbroken for the rest of their lives. Thank you for joining us in the fairy tale forest. If you enjoyed this whimsical journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more enchanting tales. Until next time, may your days be filled with wonder and fairy tales. Bye-bye!